You might think I'm too stiff to travel, but trust me, I'm on a wild ride. It started out pretty carefree. I thought I was in good hands. Emma was my best friend. But this time, I wasn't coming back. I met the most amazing creatures in the sea. Drifters, like me. They call themselves Plankton. This was a pulsating galaxy with living spaceships riding the currents. I noticed more and more static pieces though. Colorful chunks floating far out at sea. We got all tangled up at the surface and met the jaws of a silver giant. was this all about? I was still surrounded by stiff pieces, and this crew was talking about us in French. It was here, on the Tara, that I finally learned the truth. My name is Horsey Plasticus, and I'm made from petroleum. Around the world, Eight million tons of plastic wash into the sea every year, along with trillions of synthetic fibers and microbeads. Some predict plastics will outweigh fish in the ocean by 2050. Crazy thing is, we're related to plankton. Lots of plastics are actually derived from dead plankton that sank millions of years ago and fossilized at the bottom of the sea. Today, humans process these fossil fuels into petrochemicals, but at what cost? We plastics don't biodegrade. Instead, we break down into microparticles. These tiny fragments are mistaken for food by birds, fish, and all kinds of plankton. I don't want to be gobbled down by hungry copepods. We also create homes for harmful bacteria and viruses that sail around the world on pieces like me. These star-shaped algae here are new to the high seas. Poisons like DDT, PCBs, and bisphenols are coating our bodies. We are the plastosphere. This was Taramed's mission. All these biologists, sailors, and artists were working together to explore how microplastics pollute the ocean. Why me? I'm creating a global crisis. 
But what could I possibly do about it here, stuck in this petri dish? I had to tell the world my story. Late one night, the whole crew was busy collecting samples. So I decided to escape the Tara. Far away, I reached a rocky shore and met up with a new crew. They were collecting plastic on the beach in an international call to action. That's how I ended up here with 16,000 plastic caps. Art beats trash, that's for sure. I don't belong in a landfill or the sea, but I'll still be around in a few hundred years. <laughs>